is an RC boat literally meant for fishing. I mean, that's pretty crazy. That thing goes pretty quick. Oh, no! I don't know if he's still on. Oh, he's still on. He's still on. Oh, my yes! God. <laughs> Folks, what's going on? Welcome to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment days popping up down below. So make sure you guys hit subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. You guys have been going crazy on that subscribe button. Thank you so much. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, please. But today we are here with my boy, the Hunter Fisher, and he got me a surprise this morning. He showed up to the house. We were just gonna go fishing. He surprised me. Why don't you go ahead and show him, Hunter? This right here is an RC boat literally meant for fishing. So I was at work, as you guys may or may not know, uh, I work at Bass Pro Shops. Literally, I work there in the fishing department, well, technically marine, but I work there and I was walking around really bored one night. I saw a kid walking around with this red boat in a box. I'm like, that's kind of cool. And I had an idea. What if I made my own makeshift like fishing boat or something like that? Just for the heck of it, it'd be funny. Yeah. And then I went over there to go find this boat it's literally already meant for fishing. It says RC fishing boat on the front of the box. Literally, it comes with tackle and everything to set up for like fishing and stuff like that. So it comes with these hooks and stuff, but literally, I think we could use lures on this. And that's the crazy part. I think we could, dude. How much was it? Cause I, I'm just curious it how was much it was. It was $40. So guys, I always wanted to try like a RC boat fishing challenge. And luckily enough, Hunter found one at Bass Pro Shops that is literally made for fishing. I thought I was gonna have to find like a toy RC boat and make it into a fishing boat. This is literally a bass boat, a nitro with the back. And it has a little motor on the back where you attach your fishing lures. This is absolutely crazy. What we're gonna be using today for fishing lures. You good? <laughs> so it came with like this bobber and uh, like line, which I think is, how, how heavy do you it's think that line is? It's two pound monofilament. Two pound it monofilament. Oh, <laughs> awesome. So we got two pound monofilament and like a little brim hook on there. So we went to Walmart, we picked up uh, bread. This is gonna be task number one. I think this will be the easiest. Like oh, a little sure. baby anything could eat bread. Next on the list, we have ourselves some night crawlers, some live worms. I think you catch a bass, a bluegill, pretty much anything in freshwater would come after a night crawler. So this is perfect. Last but not least, we have either a uh, rattle trap or like a trick worm. I haven't decided which yet, but I want to catch something on artificial lures too. I think that would be definitely a challenge. Also guys, what I want to do is I have this RC car. It's like a Traxxas. It goes like 60 or 80 miles per hour. I can't remember which, but if this video, let's say this video hits 3000 likes in the first 24 hours this video is up. Guys, go ahead, smash that like button. We'll go ahead and do a video, me and Hunter, where we take my Traxxas car. We, I gotta find it somewhere in my garage. We tie a line off the back and we try to catch fish on it. I think that would be absolutely crazy, guys. So go ahead, hit that like button. I know you guys got this army. All right, guys, we are here at the pond and we kind of hooked this whole contraption up. So basically, this little piece is actually scares me because if it just rotated this way, gone. Yeah, this very easily could fall off but we have our line which is actually pretty long it goes all the way down here so i say probably a good like three yard leader with a little hook on the end just like that i'm thinking guys this might actually be really good because with the boat we can drive it anywhere on the pond i'm pretty sure i don't know how far we can drive it before it loses connection with the remote uh, with casting you know you can only cast so far but with the boat we might be able to get it in spots where people fishing normally can't all right guys there we go first lure or er, first bait i guess same it's thing. bread. I'm excited for the worm because I think we get something big on that. But we might just drive this out there, let it sit for a couple minutes, and see if something doesn't swim by and want to bite it. Dude, I wonder how fast this thing goes. I wonder if it's going to go like zero or if it's going to go zzz. What if we raced it against your kayak? <laughs> All right, let's make sure it works. Ready? Oh! Oh, this is going to be epic, dude. Yo! <laughs> it's whipping. Look at this. Bro, the new whip. This thing can go across the pond in probably, I'd say a, a couple hours. I mean, that's pretty crazy. That thing goes pretty quick. All right, we're gonna bring it back. Here's what I'm thinking, guys. We put a worm on this thing instead of bread, because bread's kind of boring. And we take the worm and see if we can get it all the way up to the fountain. Because I think out there, there's some big fish waiting, or at least a fish, maybe a crappie, bluegill, bass. All right, guys, let's open up the worms. Oh, man. Woo, it's been a while since I've fished with live worms. Worming with Norm, dude? That's a big old boy. Never did I think I'd be putting a worm on the back of an RC bass boat to send out to the middle of a fountain. I mean, that's gotta get eight. That just looks like bass dessert right there. Worm is in the water, and my goal is to send it as far out there as we can. <laughs> Look at it go, dude. <laughs> this is awesome. You don't have to cast. You don't have to worry about backlashes. He's gonna have batteries and a remote, baby. This is definitely one of the craziest challenges today. Look at him go. I'm getting worried. 
No, we're good. We're good. You can, See, can you cast that far? <laughs> if it loses connection, it'll eventually come back to us. Yeah, or we could just send you out to swim for it. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I might leave it right there. I feel like that's the spot where fish will be hanging out, right? Wait, try to back up a little bit so the slip bobber can go down. <laughs> Dude, I'm worried. <laughs> okay, so oh, no, it literally just stopped. Did it really? No, I'm not, no, I'm not playing. It's. Oh, <laughs> that, that's, that, that's the edge. We gotta turn this thing around yeah, now. Yeah, that is the very edge. Dude, we cannot go okay, further. Okay, okay, I'm turn, I'm turning around. Oh, I just, I just totally ate the bobber with the propeller, by the way. Oh, oh, do you see those blobs out there? Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. Dude, it's like schooling crappie. Dude, the boat's moving backwards. I sweared, I, do you see this? Yeah. Dude, there's something on the boat. There's something on it. Dude, there might be it's something. No, oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. What if we lost connection and <laughs> No, nah, that's, uh, guys, like, I'm not even kidding you right now. The boat's moving this way, the wind's coming this way. Dude, the, dude, you see the schooling fish out there. <laughs> this fish are schooling. Dude, I think something picked it up. Dude, what's going on? Look at the boat, it's moving that way. Whip changes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right, guys, so, we have fixed the boat up. It took us probably about 20 minutes, to be honest. But, dude, the way we rigged this thing, is we put the bobber, now the bobber can't go past this. So the worm is at least gonna be about a foot and a half in the water, which is what we want. We've also learned we can't go backwards because this propeller will eat the line up like crazy and then it won't move and it'll be stuck out there. You gotta wait for 20 minutes for it to float back to you. So we got a worm on here, we got the boat and there's a big drain over there where water flows in. Got some big fish over there in my day. So we're gonna send the boat over, but I figured to make less noise, we're gonna start it over here and drive it while we walk and see if we can't catch up big in. I didn't think this challenge was gonna be this hard. I mean, I thought it was gonna be. We've had like literally a minute of fishing time in the last 30 minutes, because it keeps on messing up, but I think we're good now. This is awesome. I'm just walking with my boat, no big deal. Oh, you see that, you see that, you see that? The bobbers go yeah, the other way. Moving. All right, we gotta bite, we gotta oh, bite. Dude. Oh, <laughs> yes, all right, you guys ready? All right, three. Oh, dude, it's taking the boat. Two. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna let him eat it. One. Oh. Hook set. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to, dude, I'm trying to drive the boat this way. All right. Oh, he's taking it the other oh, way. Oh, please. Oh, I can see him, dude. Oh, is he on there? Yeah. He's right there. Oh, be careful. He might get tangled up. Oh, oh no. no, 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 no. He's swimming with the bobber. Oh, jeez. Dude, what's oh, it? Oh, so lucky. Ah. What else you got in your pockets, dude? We're good, we're good. Oh, dude, it's so deep. Ah, oh, keep an eye on that gator, dude. Oh yeah, there's two gators in here. All right, I don't know if he's still on. Oh, he's still on, he's still on. Oh, please don't be a catfish. <laughs> oh oh yes. my God, there it is. Freaking bass, Oh dude. my gosh. What's up? <laughs> dude was staring at us. Oh, guys, technically that counts as a RC boat catch. Oh, I'm so cold. <laughs> <laughs> you need to guys, dry off for a little bit. <laughs> look at that fish right there. Oh my gosh. On the RC boat, we brought him all the way up and then he took off, took the line with him and we ended up getting him because he was stuck on the bobber. Oh. Beautiful little fish. All right, guys. <laughs> go ahead, let this little dude go. You ready? Oh. And he's gone. Off he goes. Oh jeez, I fell backwards. <laughs> I mean, you're already wet, so. Oh, it's so cold. But since it took us so long, I wanted to catch one so bad, at least one. We waited an hour for that bite. I wasn't gonna let it go. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. We are all done. It is like three hours since the last fish catch. My shirt is practically dry. We didn't catch anything else. Uh, Hunter's also deprived of water. He's been thirsty for the last two hours, so I started to feel kind of bad. It's just super hot out, and the fish were not having it. I would, I thought deep down that it was gonna work with all these worms. We did end up catching a fish anyways, but I thought we were gonna be able to catch more. Apparently, I was wrong. We had live worms on there, and still nothing would bite besides that one that kind of bit like halfway through the day. I have no clue how this video is gonna turn out, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. Obviously, if you made it to the end, you did, so go ahead, leave it with a like. Also, guys, Hunter is going fishing with the bass boat, so make sure you guys go check out his video. I'll leave it linked down below. And guys, also remember, hit that 3,000 likes, first 24 hours, we'll do this with the RC car, which this was tough. We might have to go to a spot a little bit better with the RC car to try to catch a, uh, a big bass on that. But I had a ton of fun. Let us know if you guys wanna try it again, maybe even with like a faster boat that's maybe not even made for fishing, but like one that goes like 80 miles an hour. Oh God. That would be crazy. Like we get like the highest in RC boat and we put a fishing line on it and we could just take it across the whole entire lake. This one, you can only go a little bit, but I had a good time guys. Uh, we caught, we caught something. So that's good. I wish we could have caught more for you guys, but obviously can't do that every single time. It's fishing, not catching. Yeah. That's kind of cringy. But uh, anyways, until the next uh, fishing adventure, 
Fish bump, we're out of here.